You're right, me old mucker. If you're a bit miffed about what I'm getting at, then you, matey, need a lesson in some British phrases. Having lived in America for some years, I can safely say there are some phrases and expressions that just don't translate, but they're great fun to use nonetheless. So, without any more faffing about, let's get cracking. You're right. A general greeting to replace hello. The correct response is just to say, you are right." Ah, oh, look, it's Jim. Oi, Jim. You are right? Barmy. Not used to describe the warm weather, in Britain, it means you're acting a bit mad or crazy. I'll tell you what, Steve must be barmy wearing blue to a Man U game. Bender. It certainly raised a few eyebrows when the robot in Futurama was named this, because in Britain, you can go out on a bender to get drunk, or it could also be used to describe a gay man. But speaking of drinking, the Brits certainly do have a lot of terms for getting drunk. Tonight, I'm going to get bladded. Are you going on the piss? Steve's having a piss up at his place. William drank so much Guinness he was pissed after an hour. Jack got absolutely plastered. I was absolutely rat assed But Bill, he was shit-faced. Henry got quite sloshed. And on and on it goes. Blow me. No, it doesn't mean that. It's actually a shortened version of blow me down, which means I can't believe it. America won the World Cup. Or blow me. Bollocks. Technically, these are testicles, but they used to describe a number of bad things. What do you mean he was offside? That's bollocks. Conversely, the dog's bollocks are great. That episode of Downton Abbey was a dog's bollocks. Bugger. Such a useful word. A casual swear, somewhat on par with bloody, it can be used in so many ways. Oi, bugger off. Did you hear he won the lottery? God, lucky bugger. What did I win? Bugger all. Codswallop. Americans might say you're talking baloney, but in Britain, an asteroid broke the window. What a load of codswallop. Bum a fag. No, it most certainly does not mean that. Simply put, it means, can I have a cigarette? Excuse me, mate, mind if I bum a fag? I'll tell you what though, when I first came to America, I thought the Westboro Baptist Church had one fierce anti-smoking campaign. Fanny. Let's set the record straight. To Americans, it's your bum. To Brits, it's a vagina. I went to America, yeah? They tried to sell me a fanny pack. Knackered. Tired or worn out. Mate, I've had such a long day of shopping for fanny packs, I am absolutely knackered. Smart. Smart, in terms of dress, means nice or formal. I once told my American friends to dress smart, and I kid you not, one of them showed up wearing a t-shirt that said E equals MC squared, and he actually said, what, that's smart. I hear we're meeting the Queen today, so make sure you look smart. Taking the piss. Making fun of someone, or sometimes taking the mick. I actually have a joke that only works with this phrase. Why did the underwear not like the washing machine? Because he took the piss out of him. Tickety-boo! If something is tickety-boo, then it's in good shape or it's going well. I taught my American friends how to dress smart, and the event was just tickety-boo. Tosser or wanker. Interchangeable, both mean the same thing, someone who masturbates. But I had to laugh when I was in Disneyland, and I saw a poster in the Toy Story ride for flying tossers. Oi! Drive on the right side of the road, you wanker! So now you're all fully educated on some of the more colourful phrases we Brits have, feel free to introduce them into your vocabulary. Just be sure you don't botch it up or you will look like a right plonker. Cheerio!